up and down up and down silver has been on a roller coaster the past week and it's kind of been on a downwards trend ever since we hit $32 and 50 cents and I know some people are beyond disappointed but as for me well I see this as an opportunity let's get to the video What's going on guys i'm stateside welcome to my channel and don't worry i'm not trying to get you to like and subscribe but if you have an unhealthy addiction to gold silver and numismatics as much as i do then i promise you're in the right place and as viewers you don't get the recognition as you deserve so i want to say thank you for taking the time out of your day to watch my content helps me out tremendously with all that being said let's roll it I hardly ever do mail calls uh, before or during videos, but I got two today from um, one is a, another channel and then the other one is a subscriber of mine. And so I got this one from Mishy Stacker, a cute little dog there. And he sent me two of his stickers. By the way, I'm so sorry if I slot slaughtered your name. I know it's for Michigan, but I don't know if it was Mishy or Mitchy. But, um, and then one of his poker chips that I've been waiting to get. I've seen it on other people's channels and I've always wanted one. So I'm gonna put that right here. And then another subscriber who did not want to be named sent me this cool bag along with some fractional silver. This is actually a replica of a V nickel. You can't see it right there, but it's stamped. It says copy. And then he sent me this tube of silver and it's a lot to read and you guys probably can't see it, but this is what was given when you turned in your silver certificates back in, it says as of June 4th, 1963. So that is beyond cool um, to receive that stuff. Thank you guys so much. It's cool how we always, you know, just trade stuff within the community anything I get it's just not going anywhere as going out of my kids but these are the price swings that shake new stackers and make them question if silver and gold is the safe haven and hedge against inflation that everyone says it is I've been buying long enough to where um, this no longer phases me. And while the rest of YouTube is using scare tactics about precious metals, I'm using this as a positive video. So I know a lot of you like myself have a little grin on your face looking at these prices, you know, rubbing your hands together, kind of licking your lips. I dollar cost average, which means I buy when it's at $32. And when it's hitting, um, you know, high $26. But when it drops this low, I'm going to be buying hard. I'm back in the truck up here. Um, I'm sure James, you guys have all seen James in the comments, is in, in the comments right now giving us his price target for when he's going to buy rolls of silver eagles that he can flip for some gold buffaloes. And, well, Honestly, it's probably about time I start listening to him. So, um, but what do people buy when we see dips like this? What do you buy? What do you guys think I'm going to buy? Well, just like gold and silver, there's plenty of options to go about this, but I'm going to do the two most common options of what people are looking to buy. Um, first one. Um, is you continue buying generic silver, you know, those people that are looking to buy close as a spot, but instead of your typical weekly or monthly purchases, whatever you guys do, probably double up. Whether it's silver rounds, poured silver bars, or even that 100 ounce silver bar you've had your eye on for a long time. Um, silver rounds are not my favorite. They have plenty of designs, the buffaloes, you know, they have replicas of the Morgan dollar, um, the mercury dime, um, but they are undoubtedly one of the least expensive ways to buy silver. And that's just all around good. Um, 
and was spot at $27.50 about the time of making this video, you are looking to get silver well under $30 even with a premium when buying silver rounds. Uh, my local coin shop has some pretty good prices right now and I'm sure any of you that have an LCS by you does as well, but if you don't have one near you, um, might be the time to look at those spot deals online that bullion dealers offer for first time buyers. It's something like, you know, you buy, I think it's like 10 ounces or 15 ounces. Every website is different. And then you get like five ounces at spot. So it might be time to take advantage of that if you have not already done so. Um, I've already used mine all up. So, but then you have your other options. So we've gone over our generic um, silver, you know, like I said, rounds, uh, silver bars, and then your other form of buying you can consider is like your higher premium silver. Maybe you've been sitting on the sideline for the past couple months, just kind of, you know, eyeing some silver eagles or some silver libertads, but the spot price was just floating over 30 and you just didn't want to pull the trigger. It's just, it's too expensive. $32 at spots a lot. And then the premium for that stuff, you're looking almost to $40 for an ounce. Um, but things are looking to be in your favor right now. Spot had a big dollar swing up today. That's why I'm really excited to see what silver is doing. You know, uh, months and months ago, you know, we'd get excited over 20 cent uh, spikes or 20 cent drops. It's not like that anymore. There's big swings in silver right now. Um, which you can easily take to your advantage. So it was well into $26 today. So we will see what tomorrow brings. I never hold my breath on Fridays. You guys all know silver is extremely, extremely volatile and Fridays are even worse. So if you guys are looking at those Libertads now, those bigger uh, silver purchases, now would be the time to do it. I know constitutional silver is also down along with gold. So these are the prices that, yes, it's discouraging. You know, we all wanted to see um, silver all, all new high after all time high after all time high. But what goes up must come down. Sometimes it's a healthy pullback. I don't have a crystal ball. I don't know if this is a healthy pullback or if this is a crash. Either way, I'm still buying. I'm not here to, you know, spread the fear and doubt that silver has. Um, it goes up over time, and that's all I care about. But as for me, I plan on loading up. I usually have a scheduled bi-monthly purchase, but when we see price drops like this, I tend to go off schedule and make big purchases. Um, I might wait till tomorrow, like I said, um, to see if I'm going to buy anything, but I am looking at more, you know, 10 ounce silver RCM bars, these beautiful guys right here. And then I'm also looking at more, um, type one silver Eagles. Those are getting more and more appealing to me. I'm going to kind of set the, um, Libertads off to the side cause I made a purchase that, I will show you guys an upcoming video, but you guys will love to see it. But let me know what you plan on doing. Is this the right price um, where you were sitting on the sidelines and you were waiting for, you know, $27, $27.50, or are you still waiting for it to get a little bit lower? So that's all I have for this video, guys. Like always, I hope you got something from this and I will see you in the next.